So today we are going to make a chocolate caramel Oreo pie. So this has a Oreo cookies as a base, crushed like those, this ones. And then uh, on the top we will make some caramel cream and then the chocolate ganache. It's a simple recipe, just takes more time. So I'm using uh, like 150 grams of Oreo crumbs for the base and we'll bake it for 5 to 10 minutes just to just to give it hardness and then we'll start with the caramel i have 250 grams of sugar that goes in and some water so for the ganache you need uh, 250 ml of cream and once it comes to a boil we'll add a chocolate and butter. So we are making caramel and ganache together. Until then our mold is ready. We will pour this to cool down and then the ganache. Slowly the caramel is getting golden brown. We did a nice uh, brown color like this, not too dark and not too light. Just to make a contrast in the chocolate and caramel pie. You don't have to disturb the sugar when it is boiling. Otherwise, it can crystallize. There is some color on the side. I'll just mix it to evenly caramelize it. You can also use a spoon. Okay, the cream is boiling now. I will turn off the cream. And I will slowly add some chocolate in it. Slowly stir it. Let it melt. Your chocolate is like a baby. You should handle with care all the chocolate. The sugar is nice and brown now, like this. Now carefully add the cream in it because it is going to have a lot of steam. When you put the cream uh, in the hot caramel, the cream also gets the same temperature and it's around 100 degrees now. And it should be evenly mixed. If not, then you can put back on the fire, cook for some more time. Let the sugar dissolve with the cream. Let it cool down for a while, then we'll add the butter. We'll come back to ganache and give it a stir. Oreo has baked, put it on the side. So this is the ganache you're looking for, nice and shine. If it loses the shine, that means you have burned your chocolate. Now it's the time for your butter and 125 of butter. So we'll slowly add the butter once it's mixed. Half the butter in, mix it, let it melt and then the other half. Also goes with the ganache, half the butter in and once it melts, the other half goes in. We need to cool down this caramel by adding butter slowly. So see this is the consistency that we got and once we cool down this will become like this. So there will be cream of a caramel and once in the freezer then it will set to a pie. The butter is melted now, I will add the other half and I will give a stir to the ganache simultaneously. So the butter is melting in this as well, I will add the other half of the butter. Now everything is off, I'm just melting the butter in the hot ganache and hot caramel. Once all the butter is melted. And you get a nice caramel like this. We'll pour over the Oreo crumbs that I've made. And let it set in a freezer for like half an hour. Until then we'll have a ganache ready. So we'll use that mold which we kept inside for half an hour. The caramel is nice and set. Now we can pour the ganache over it. And then we will set this one, this pie for another two hours. So I have some pie made for you guys. So that's the layer that you're looking for. After you put the ganache, you get the Oreo cookie, the caramel cream and the ganache on the top. 
So that is it for the demo and now we will taste it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OLTV. If you liked what you saw and you want to watch more, like this video and subscribe to the Optima Living channel right here on YouTube.